I'm Paleo Joe, and welcome to Fossils Across America. In New York State, the Niagara River plunges 250 feet over the majestic Niagara Falls. The bedrock beneath the falls includes remains of millions of years worth of accumulated sediment that houses remnants of the ancient Silurian seabed. ...were used to pull barges of products from location to location. It was during the digging of this major new waterway that workers discovered wondrous things lying buried deep within the Earth's rock layers. Only later did people realize what these shapes in the rock would mean digging through the rock with steam shovels and sometimes by hand. The work was hard and little did they know that as they dug they would have a chance encounter with creatures that intrigued and confused people of the day and would begin a paleontological journey across the ages back into time when New York was covered by a tropical sea. This view of the ancient sea is made possible by numerous paleontologists both professional and avocational. Step back into time when central New York was the bottom of an ancient Silurian sea. It is a snapshot of the entire prehistoric ecosystem in the area 400 million years ago. Some of the most spectacular have just recently been discovered. Many species of crinoids, what many people call sea lilies, are an animal that grew on a tall stalk. Cystoids, similar to crinoids, abounded as well. Bryzoan colonies, so-called moss animals, became prevalent and were one of the creatures responsible for the rise of coral reefs, and these are just to mention a few. By far, the most intriguing to many are called trilobites. Trilobites are an extinct form of arthropod whose lineage begins in the Cambrian period some 520 million years ago and ends with the Permian extinction about 250 million years ago, long before the age of dinosaurs. In the trilobite's 270 million year reign, over 20,000 species have been identified. The ancient seafloor 400 million years ago would have been very similar to what is seen today in the Caribbean. Tropical, warm, shallow seas, thriving with a variety of marine life, much like the modern ocean today. Uh, corals would have been present, the uh, bivalves and brachiopods, the uh, bottom-dwelling invertebrate animals would have been uh, dominating the seafloor, much like the invertebrates dominate the seafloor today. So, you know, you could see how that mud flow would come in here and bury everything relatively quick. Uh, the preservation quality is up here is just out of this world, um, super, super detail. But you have a, a basically a normal sea bottom and then all of a sudden that's terminated by an event, most likely a hurricane, since this area of New York was south of the equator, uh, very tropical and prone to hurricane events. And as the hurricanes would rile up the muds in the shallower waters, these storm mud clouds would come rolling across the seafloor. Uh, and animals that lived on the bottom were captured by this rolling mud storm and very rapidly. 